had like two huge fistfuls of her hair. So, yeah, she definitely knew I wasn't happy about it. <clears throat> mm. Welcome to episode number eight of the Marty and Michael podcast. This week, we are living... We're still alive, hey? In a pandemic, aren't we? We're already in one. Yep, we, we're still in one. And uh, you know what? It's pretty fucking boring. Getting pretty fucking boring. We've been filming our tits off because there's really nothing else to do. So we've been banking some some content. But you, it's, you, you're sort of restricted because this is a piece of shit house. Hey, 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 hey. This hey. is just such a fucking shit house. You it's used so to live here. Fucking disgusting. You got it first. It's dark, barely anything works. There's someone leaves skid marks on that fucking toilet. That's you and me, it's but just, ma- it's mainly just me. Fuck. So, like, we are as mu- we are getting content done, but it would be a lot better if we weren't in this v- v- sick, just <laughs> l- l- slight sucking house. Thing, not even a house. It's just a little dwelling in the corner of a piece of shit suburb. Is what it is. It's a, it's a ditch. It's a ditch with a tarp over it. Yeah, it sucks about the lighting. These <coughs> lights are good that we have for the podcast, but there's no lights working in the actual house because so, I don't know how to change a light bulb. So yeah, we've um, been getting videos done, but they're shit videos because we have to be in this damp dark just <laughs> damp, fucking it's damp it doesn't have a roof falling apart just disgusting dirty piece of shit place actually plug for our fucking website disgusting. university of markle if you want to see my crib in detail every room i take you on a tour as well as marty's yep so, so for we've started making lots of website exclusive content and the website is what sponsors this podcast university of markle.com all right. Now we've got um, we've done a MTV Cribs style video of Michael taking us through his place and me taking you through my place. They're very different. So um, that video will be out soonish. All right, so on our website. So fucking register and fucking just enjoy it, man. Because the website's where it's at. Hey. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I thought you were gonna fart then. Why? I don't know. You fucking, we we're on a roll last week. I got that face. Yeah, yeah. The, I'm about to fart face. Look at it, you've shaved and everything. Yeah, I got sick of it. And the I couldn't be fucked going to a barber because you only get 30 minutes and shit. So, I just started screaming and shaved yeah, it all. Are they going to be closed down fully soon? No one knows. Like, no one knows except for one person, me. And no, they won't. Okay. Oh, Unless okay. it gets worse, then they will. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I'm getting over the beard too. It's getting quite frustrating. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, so yeah, we're we're not not much to talk about for shit talk, but um, we do have a very special on this day now. <laughs> Matt Brown from Wholesome has um spent what's that three three and a half hours researching these um, and they're it's incredible. Every time he sends them to me, he's you know his shirt's all sweaty and there's tears running down his face of because blood. of the effort he goes to to find out these on this day's facts. It's fucking insane. Uh, and again, well done, Matt. He's, it's hard to believe. I'm going to be honest with you that some of these are quite difficult to believe, but you know what? <clears throat> Here we go anyway. Who's it from again? Who wrote him? <clears throat> Matt Brown from Wholesome. Okay. Cannot stress that enough that he works at Wholesome. <laughs> that is who employs him. Okay. He comes here. This is like a side little hobby, but he works at Wholesome. He's working his way up there. He's got a lot of people underneath him. You know, it's his role. Is, we won't get into his role, but he works at Wholesome. He's been there for quite some time. How long has it been, Matt? Seven? Six, six, years. six years. Six years wow, at Wholesome. Wow, that is a while. It's a long time. That's a while. All right. On this day in 1976, Oprah Winfrey evolved into a human being after spending most of her life as a bulging disc in the lower back of a badger. Whoa, what bulging disc. The Oprah Winfrey spent her adolescent years as a bulging disc in a badger's back. <laughs> and a, a badger is like the American equivalent if a possum and a wombat f- rage fucked, <laughs> then a badger would be born. And she was a bulging disc. I don't even know that, that small animals like that had spines. Yeah, I, d- I didn't even know there was a beaver ever. That's unbelievable. Oprah started as a bulging disc. Wow, he never would have picked it. On this day in 1982, Donald Trump was found fertilizing a large number of snake eggs by piercing the shell of the eggs with his needle-like phallus and injecting his Trump serum into the center. What's a phallus? A cock. Wow. 
It's a I've big never cock. heard that term for it. So Donald Trump has Trump serum in his testicles that he sort of injects into eggs. Maybe that's how he won the so election. So do you reckon his kids are snakes? Who knows? It could be. They could just be Trumps. Man, that's crazy. How did I know that? <clears throat> I know. How is this not common knowledge? I don't get it. Anyway, he's got his own- Good researching, Matt. Very wholesome way yeah, of researching. Very Gregory, Matt Wholesome. Gregory. Wholesome research. Gregory, Matt. Gregory, wholesome Gregory, research wholesome. says that in on this day in 1897, Martha Stewart escaped prison by headbutting a hole through a thick brick walls in the prison she was housed. She stayed in hiding until the early 1900s when she re-emerged and as a professional chef. Who the fuck's this bitch? What's her Martha, name? She's like a really old- fragile lovely lady Martha Stewart she was in prison not only that she headbutted her way out of prison she headbutted her way to freedom can you imagine headbutting a hole through a thick brick wall must have been pretty thin um, or she's got very thick skull that's what that's what I've heard Martha Stewart like that thick I'm thinking like wow. what's that like 10, 10 centimeters or something did she would she be back in prison well, she was in hiding for a long time. So. Oh, okay. That so, helped. yeah, I guess she just... And fuck trying to arrest someone who can headbutt a hole through a brick wall. <laughs> Do you know <laughs> what I mean? <laughs> on this day in 2012, curtains were found on the moon, suggesting that an astronaut had had an argument with his spouse and considered living on the moon for a while while he cleared his fucking head. Why would you need curtains for that? Well, maybe he was just moving his shit there. It was just like a spontaneous like, fuck this. I need some space. So, he just packed his space ship up with some stuff and then went to the moon and then sort of started setting up. But he'd sort of cooled off by the time he got there. And then he was like, oh, all right, well, fuck it. I might as well go home then. And then he flew back home. But he left some shit there and one of those items As was if you take the curtains. Look, I'm not. Talk to Matt about it, all right? He's the researcher. Here we go. It blocks out the earth. There you go. It's very... The uh, moon's a bit closer to the sun. Ah. Oh. So, you've got to have curtains to protect you from the UV. Of course. Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. So, wow. On this day. Very unusual on this day there. Though. Good job there, Matt. All right. Which, um, moving right along to our next um, segment, which has been renamed to... Um, Mule- no! No! <laughs> 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 And basically, in this segment, we just answer questions that you guys have sent him via Instagram. Joshua AMK. One food to eat for the rest of your life. What would it be? Uh, let's go... Fuck. Uh, it'd have to be... One I'd meal to, or can we go cuisine? No, nah, one food. One food. One ingredient. It, I'd have to pick something healthy just because you'd live the longest. So, I'd probably pick like... What about your healthy option and then your no health option? It's okay. You don't get fucked up from the food. No. We have to answer the questions as they ask, Michael. We're not, we're not here making questions up. That's not what he asks. All right. I would pick broccoli. What about something unhealthy? All right. That's a good idea. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking Italian something. Pasta or pizza? I'd go um, gravel. Like the rocks. Just yeah, I guess like cause, if cause you're not going to get fucked up by it, that'd be a cool party trick to have. It's just because I imagine telling people that the food I've chosen to eat is gravel, mm. it would be pretty funny. Like you wouldn't live for very long. But no, it be- if it didn't fuck you up, you would. Yeah. Just chew on the gravel. That would be a pretty funny trick, but you'd get so over it. Next question! Daniel, Daniel Zama 14. 14. You should get tattoos by the other person. But, gets- the, other, but the other person gets to choose it. Um, yeah. we've done. done that. Done. Great, great question. Yeah. Done. Next. To sack. To sack. To sack. Eighty three. When did you guys start filming and doing these fucking hilarious? And would you ever have a guest fan join? We started doing the podcast probably just about a year ago. Just over yeah, a year, over a year and a month ago, we started doing them. But filming, filming. I forgot. There's. I remember being in fucking. Year eight and doing dumb shit. Yeah, true. And filming it. But um, filming properly, filming to like gain a following, probably five years, 2015, four years ago. 2015 or yeah. some dog shit come. I've got a question. What was the first prank? Do you guys remember? Or the first video yeah, that was, you guys um, did together? Fake seizures in yeah, public. Very, very politically correct. 
fake and, um, so we would be walking in a public place and one of us would fall to the ground and pretend to be having a seizure and for others, awareness and others would um you know uh, and the other one would be like call the ambulance call the ambulance and then um people would freak out and then we'd say hey it was a prank and no one was happy about that and we could not, not post that one because it got a lot of hate yeah yeah because there are people why. out there with seizures who take offense to that and say hey don't make fun of me because I do that for real. <laughs> they do too. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I guess we've already spoke about having a guest on the podcast that's a fan. Yeah, that would be cool. It'd be like a competition we could run. Yeah. Hey? Well, we're going to get our old boss, Greg, who on our first ever podcast, Pr- we prank called him. We're going to we get, get him good. on. He's been, he coaches. He's known us uh, like half our lives. Yeah, since we were 16 and Hmm. <laughs> Michael guess, Angus said he would even come on. I guess yeah. Well, fuck it. We'll, we'll do run a little competition soon, and we'll um the winner gets to be a fan, or a guest on the podcast. You'd have to be Brisbane based though. So no, we'll Brisbane fly him in. Only. We'll fly him in. Doesn't matter if the someone from Brisbane happens to win, lucky, and then we don't have to pay. Oh, we we'll use our business account. Oh, that's right. You spent our money on a fucking billboard, billboard. and now no one can see the billboard because everyone's in isolation. Next question. Money well spent. <laughs> All right, this is from the... Oh, hey there, Denise. When will Michael say yes to my marriage proposal? God damn. I have a girlfriend. I'm very sorry. But don't don't leave her hanging. When are you going to accept? I'm never even... Ha- oh, I can't look at her. You yeah, no, I'm sorry. Matter. Yeah, I'm, what she looks like. I'm happily taken. So... For now. Yeah, so sorry about that. J underscore Dan, Dan 34. 34. If you guys could host your own reality TV show, what would you call it and what would it be based on? Now, we've got some shit in the works. I would have a reality show called um, Push It. Push It to the Limits, mate. Oh, yuck. And it would just be about um, sitting people down and just uh, chatting to them about um, their lives. Well, I'm actually (laughs) in the talks with some studios at the moment and I came up with a show. I wrote it about six months ago. And it might go to air. It's to do with like getting two people together and you make them married at first sight. And then you document the whole like time, six months. That would never work. That sounds terrible. (laughs) That would never work. What? Married at first? What? So, they've never even met each other? Never met each other. And then you put them together for like three months. That won't get picked up. Trust me. Trust me. I know my shit. Okay. I'm in the middle of writing up my reality TV show. Um, I forget what I call it. But yeah, it's just two people sitting outside and it's raining and they just have to talk to each other um, just about like how they are for five minutes. And what about the rain? That's the obstacle. That's the discourse. Yeah, it just it. adds like um, like a, an element to it. Yeah. Adds I like that. Okay, I can see that word. And we'll just call it rain. Rain talk. Just rain. Rain. And you spell the rain R-A-Y-N-E-E-2. Oh, because there's two of them. Exactly. I get that, dude. That's not bad. That's not bad. I think we go with my pitch over yours. Yeah. Yeah, all right. I'll cut everything I wrote. Um, Shri.Chakra17. Why are you guys so funny? Great question. Uh, we're born like this. It was... Um, you can't... This, we haven't undergone any type of training or nothing outrageous has happened to us. We were just born this hilarious. You went to uni for a bit. Yeah, but I didn't study funny. Yeah, true. You were trying I think uni school. actually made me less funny. Yeah, we'll do that to you. So, um, yeah, the answer to your question is, we were fucking born this good, you bitch. Hi. Sorry. No, I get it. Passion. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't know. It's just, yeah, what he said. Kenneth Fuckleishnison. What's your IQ and who's dumber? Yeah. I don't know. Whatever. What is the IQ best you can get? Like, like 150? 170 or 160 or some dog shit? Does it really like determine if you're dumb or not? I think there's different types of IQ tests. And like it's just general knowledge, I think. Maybe. I don't know. I've never done one, eh? <laughs> yeah. I reckon definitely he's way smarter. You give him an assignment, he'll have it done in like two hours. I'll look at. I'll be reading the task sheet for that two hours, trying to figure out what. Sipping at a mean. nice warm glass of urine. No beer. Yeah. Yeah, which is urine sometimes. Matt's gonna talk. Watch this. Betcha. Uh, Told you. According to IQs, it doesn't actually give you the highest score, but um, it considers anything over two hundred uh, are considered people are geniuses. I would be around maybe three hundred then. 
Yeah, I'd probably and you'd be, be around one ninety nine like, then, and you'd just be like, under. Yeah, one. Yeah, one. One. Yeah, yeah, minus one ninety nine. Yeah, one. There you go. H underscore you and underscore. Oh, oh. By, By the way, way what's, what's your, your favorite celebrity? celebrity? Um, I would have to say either Will Ferrell or Russell Brand, just because they're hilarious. And Andy Samberg, I love. Fuck, I haven't even thought about it. Yes, you have. Come on, Tom man. Green, Tom Green or... Liam Gallagher. No, no, no. Uh, Scott Morrison. Cameron Diaz. Yeah. Great choice. She's cool. I like her. Um, all right, next question is from <laughs> Taurus, Taurus underscore, underscore Elizabeth, Elizabeth 8. 8. Do you think God is punishing us with the coronavirus because we are sinners? Or is it just Stephen Hawking's? Decomposing. I love how they put the S on Hawking yeah. as well. That's Stephen good. Hawking's That's good. Decomposing. We need some answers from credible source Marty and Michael, the scientists. Look, um, as scientists, we can't rule anything out, but it is so far. It's unlikely that it's God related because um, God loves old people, and He's fucking killing them. So I don't know if yeah, it doesn't really make sense logically, but. Um, yeah, I, I, I just think it's um, this is just something that happens when you eat bats. Yeah, well, that's what the media says. If you eat lots and lots of bats, people get sick. So, people, please just stop feasting on bat flesh. I wonder what bats would taste like. We had one in our yard a couple months ago. Yeah, we should have fried it up. I was so close to licking it for a yeah, joke, well, for we, a story. Yeah, well, that snake had it half down. Lucky we yeah, fucking same. stopped it. Would have started coronavirus even earlier. Yeah, we saved the world for six months. Holy shit. I didn't even realize that we saved the world and we did that. Well, yeah, we didn't even brag about that shit. We'll have a moment's pause in conversation here so that everyone listening and watching can say thank you to us. Heads down, 10 second silence. And go. That's okay. No worries. Well, it's our job. Really? It's, it's nothing. It's very easy for us to do. Honestly, save your applause. Sit down, save your applause. That's enough. Thank you. Honestly, that's enough. Wow. Humbling. Thank you. Just pissed me off a bit. Next question. All right. Dom Gooden. Is Marty always how he is on camera in real life? I'd say he's worse. Like, when it's just me and him, it's it's Marty uncut, which means... There is constant screaming. Constant screaming. I'll be trying to drive us to a location and... I'll have to have a little feel of something. Why yeah, not? every time I get out of the car, he grabs at me. Mm, fingers, special. grabs for the dick. <laughs> every time I go past, he knows he does this little... <laughs> and he like hits the tip of my dick with his like fingertips. <laughs> and it's so annoying. <laughs> ah! It's so frustrating. And the amount of times I've been trying to eat my meal or just have a sleep and I wake up to this gaping asshole that spits fucking shit dust out and it goes all over my food or my face oh it's yeah it's it's so much worse you saw last week in the podcast when he spread his ass cheeks and I'm just so used to him it's normal now to see a, a bum hole and then a sound come out his record's like 20 seconds with it too imagine a fart with a gaping arsehole that lasts 20 seconds. It's pretty It's pretty exciting. It's actually special. It's I don't, I've learned to brain. love it. It's on my resume. But yeah, no. Nah, That's all way, on my way resume. Way worse, I reckon. Depending on who he's around. I guess with me, it's like anything goes. We should send in resumes just and just our name and then just a picture of our arsehole. <laughs> I wonder what <laughs> that's sexual assault, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. Harassment. I want to I oh, no. sexually assault. I want to start doing that. That's a trend. We can do that for the website. Sign up to the website. Watch us sexually assault people. <laughs> <laughs> is that the end of the questions? No, no, that is two. There's two, two more. more. Caitlin, Caitlin underscore fifteen nine five. Have, have you, you ever accidentally, accidentally purposely set somebody's house on car a car on fire? fire? Yes, we have set cars on fire. Have and, you? Yeah, and we've set one house on fire, but we can't really talk about it on camera. Because yeah. uh, it's still under investigation. It's a bit of hearsay, four hearsay. years ago. So, no, but yes. Marcus Convongo. Question. Cock rings versus cock sleeves. I've heard of cock rings. Are they the ones that have like the little vibrator thing on it around? Yeah, it's just a ring used? that goes on the base of your dick. I don't know what a cock sleeve is. What's a cock is. sleeve? Maybe it's like a, a, like, a long, like a cock ring, but much longer. And the whole thing vibrates. Uh, no, and the whole thing just keeps your dick rock hard. I'll have to look into that. 
Does the cock sleeve sound pretty cool? Right now, cock ring, but I think Matthew Gregory Brown from Wholesome has uh, got an answer for us for the cock sleeve. I might put a sleeve on my testicles. It sounds like leggings. Would you ever get your dick tattooed? Yep. <laughs> Matthew? Um, on here, it's a, they call it penis sleeve, which I guess is the same thing. No. Um, a penis sleeve is a condom-like sex toy that slips on over the penis to provide more pleasure to the person being penetrated. Being fucked. Penis, sleeve, penis sleeves are designed to add a bit of extra length or girth to the penis to enhance sexual activity and allow for its deepest penetration. Oh, isn't that... It so, it's for small, small, small endowed... F- cock. Small yeah. endowed cock. But then yeah. it's like a condom, so it, it's, it wouldn't feel as good, I guess. So, I'd probably go cock ring. <clears throat> By the way, everyone, do Wim Hof. Just Google Wim Hof. That, that's the end of the questions. That's the end of the questions, which brings us to our next segment. It's a popular one. And it has been renamed. Holy <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Fucking shit. And it's just a segment there. It's the PO unboxing segment. And wow, have we got some fucking good shit today. <laughs> and we've only got this one item, but uh, we checked our PO box and there was nothing in there. Just a letter from the government. Uh, so we've had to make our own PO box and pretend like someone <clears throat> has sent it to us. So this is uh, what we got sent this week, but it's actually us. We've just pretended and wrapped something up. So I wonder um, what it is. I'm we'll go ahead and uh, unwrap it. Glen 20 kills 99.9% of germs and viruses. No! Let's see if it works. Ow, you fucked! <laughs> you fucked my, bent my nail back! Michael, stop spraying it straight up in the air. I can't see! <laughs> I bent my fucking nail back from you. Ow, it's in my mouth! <laughs> oh, man, that's an intense smell. That is an intense Stop! Stop! Okay, and that's how you use it. (laughs) Alright, thank you for sending that in. And that is the end of our uh, PO unboxing segment. A short one this week. Seems to be working. Michael's really struggling. And he is. How can you breathe? And he is, in fact, a virus. Michael is a long virus. <laughs> Michael is a. a f- a, f- a, f- a formed German virus block. It's hard to breathe. Sorry. My nail hurts. <clears throat> All right. Um, that is the end of our PO unboxing segment. Uh, we have a new segment. Michael has a new segment for us. We um, He forgot to buy the ingredients for the uh, science experiment, so he's changed the segment up. Two. He's holding a knife. This is called stunt time. Stunt time on a podcast and in, around really expensive equipment. Here we go. All right. Finish just, watch, it. just watch the cords. He's finishing his beer. You better not fucking electrocute me dropping it. <sighs> now, the goal of this stunt is to get three rotations of a knife and then catch it on... The handle. So, this is a very sharp knife. It's one of those really good knives. So, if he fucks this up, he will slice his hand quite badly. Might just um, step to the side. Yeah, I need room for this. I'll even stand up so it's not near the clear All right. Fucking cunt! First rotation. Ah! One. Two rotations. I'm doing one more again. I just want to suss it out. Two rotations. Ah! He's got himself! He's got himself! Right on the right on the point! The point has gone into his finger. Alright, and that is the end of stunt time. 
fucking foot too. <laughs> so stun time went bad. No, I, I, I don't know. I cut my hand and it landed on my foot too. So he's uh, he's misjudged the knife and it's the point of the knife has split his finger and then it's fallen onto his foot, which is also now cut. Oh, that's stun time. I think that segment has a very bright future. Ah, <laughs> fuck. I'm normally good at that. The pressure of the camera scared me. <clears throat> All right. Which brings us to our final segment, which has, of course, been renamed to... Oh, I can't see! How do you get out of the smoke in my eyes? And this is basically just a segment where we pr- prank call someone and you guys have sent in some scenarios and some numbers. So let's have a look through them and see what happens, everyone. All right. <clears throat> someone has sent in. This is my mate, Jaden. Goes to Macca's time all the time. <laughs> He always complains about his meal and gets free shit. Call him up on it and tell him to pay back the money for the accusations. That's a good one. That's just hacking to him for being poor. Hello. Um, hello, my name's uh, Tom Collins. I'm just calling from the Bell Street McDonald's there in, um, in Heidelberg. Am I speaking with um, Jaden? Yes. Right, so we've just done an audit of um, a few of our uh, orders and... Um, your uh, orders keep popping up in the system that you've um, made some frequent complaints and um, actually yeah. actually were refunded on some of these items. Um, yeah. Can you just explain to me exactly um, what these were? Because there's been a bit of a, a, a huge increase in people sort of uh, being deceitful about their orders. And um, it, it, I guess it's like a, okay. a trending or something. And, and a lot, lots of people are doing it. And we just need to sort of... Uh, really get down to the bottom of it. Do you know what I mean? So, if you could just go into... I can explain it to you very simply. Yeah. I would say out of 10 times I go to McDonald's Mm drive-thru, I would say five times my order is correct. Okay. When it comes to to my car, Mm -hmm. five times is correct. Right. So, So 50% of the time... It's something is wrong with the order. So, do you mean something's missing from the order, or is something's it- missing? Um, I might have asked, I might have asked for extra sauce, and they give me no sauce. Um, you know, the list goes on and on. Anything you can really imagine, yeah. it, it's happened. So, um, <clears throat> and that's not just like that's a pretty well-known thing that McDonald's. Mm-hmm. Um, very bad with that type of stuff. Yeah, well, we've just had a big meeting with all the um, all the staff and employees there, and we've just been cross-checking yeah. the orders that come through and checking the CCTV footage and seeing what exactly gets put into the um, the bags. And yes, you're right. There are a, a, the, occasionally there are some of the orders are missing an object or two, but we've just yeah. seen that uh, your car, your rego number comes up a lot with the complaints and with the um, you know saying something's missing and then res- yeah, I go there a lot <laughs> and then. Quite and rude. then getting uh, refunds, um, and and we've actually seen a couple. I wouldn't say I wouldn't say I've really gotten that many refunds though. So you're honestly, quite rude. how many how many refunds would you say you've had in in uh, just when when you say refunds, I'm, I've, I think I've called up your McDonald's two times, yeah, maybe because I'm just that angry and that pissed off that it's happened again, and I've Did gotten home stuff? and realised that you know I haven't got a burger or. Um, yeah, so I think I think for some of me to call up like that. Yeah, well, I think I think that I think that's why um, your name popped up. The, um, the some of the employees were a bit um, disgusted in how you spoke to them, saying you were quite rude and aggressive, and also um, the staff also deny that they um, that they uh, missed any items from your order. So, um, okay. are, are you aware? Are you aware that the staff were a bit, um, you know, taken aback, and one of the staff was actually uh, in tears, crying to me. In um, tears, really? Yeah, yeah, saying that you were quite, um, quite aggressive and, and quite rude. And, yeah, um, I'm sorry if I brought tears. I never, never mean to upset anybody. Yeah, well, um, she's. She, we've had to send her home. She's a, she's a mess now. She's um. You know, she's, really? Yeah, Wait, well, she had have, she had to have a week off. Yeah, from the time. She had to have a week off. Excuse me, what? You know, and, and well, this, Are you sure this is from me. So one of our employees was actually oh, quite distraught, geez, and the other, That's... and the other thing is that, um, you know, the, uh, the that they they claim that they didn't on those particular occasions uh, forget to put any items in your order, 
and um okay. and and so I, I guess what i'm saying is apology. um you know those uh, I, I would li- love it if you could apologize to the staff directly and also um pay us those those uh refunds back um absolutely not i would definitely not pay the refunds back um i on, to be honest with you i earn very good money i'm not about trying to score some extra fucking free food um no. if i've ever come to you guys with a complaint it's because i've paid for something and haven't gotten it before right well that um, is that is a hundred percent like i don't well i'm just like i'm, I'm just try, no i'm just reason, trying to look look no look i'm just that, honestly you're getting, mate, you're 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 getting aggressive Jaden, can, can you just calm down yes, mate yes, can yes. you just I'm, oh, look i'm just trying to pr- pr- oh, no, i'm fine sorry mate sorry yeah i'm just trying to protect my staff here and, and when a staff Absolutely member comes and, and says that. that that a customer has called and abused the living shit out of her her words not mine abused the shit out of her and also claims that you're demanding refunds on on orders where the 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 orders have been perfect so you know i'm sort of gonna have to do something here and and um if if you don't if you're not willing to come forward and 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 refund the 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 orders that you got then um look we're gonna have to take it further and possibly uh, blacklist you from mcdonald's uh certainly Certainly, we're we're uh, in in all of Australia and and possibly internationally. If 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 I feel like it. Yeah, if okay. I feel like well, it. look, this is this is a little bit too extreme. I'm not look. I'm I'm you say so? extremely sorry that I've upset someone. I'm you extremely wanna... sorry. I've no intention to actually upset apology. someone. That is me being angry and stupid at the time and getting angry at the person who may not even. Have anything to do with it, maybe? Right. Well, look, um, look, I understand. I understand that it's frustrating sometimes. So maybe if you could just pop in, uh, give us fifty bucks, and just apologise to the to the to the girls at the checkout, and um, look, we'll call it even. Look, uh, I'm, I'm, look, that doesn't sound too bad. I'm definitely willing to apologise. Look, Jaden, you, um, you just told me that you make very good money, so I don't see the problem in you just coming in. Just it's, ch- it's ch- more the principle was because I haven't. I'm, I'm not that type of person to just bullshit and try to get something for free if like i ordered that i ordered the item like that's what's happened unless they forgot to put in the item and then i'm still thinking that they did that but no i like honestly majority of the time i know that i pay for the item and it doesn't come i, I come there a lot that's probably why there's well, there. well maybe maybe you dropped it or you you just sort of forgot that you've eaten it or something a lot of people sort of eat something and then sort of forget that they've okay. eaten it and then just say, oh, look, we've, you know, you guys have, have, are missing an order, you know. And then we have to look back on CCTV footage, confirm that the order was packed correctly. And then, you know, so it turns out that the, someone's just, just being forgetful. Okay. So, um, yeah, if look, you could honestly, just look, honestly, mate, mate, if, to the bottom of my heart, I'm not being deceitful. Look, mate, I'm not lying. I understand. It must be honest mistakes, honestly. I and I apologize for getting angry and acting the way I did. All right, well, if you could um, just come in and just, just chuck us, even if just a cheeky lobster, just come in, give us a cheeky 20 bucks, we'll call it even. A cheeky, a cheeky what, sorry? What a, was that? a cheeky lobster. Just come in and, 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 give, lobster, okay. and give the staff a cheeky $20 note and we'll call it even there, Jaden. Okay, uh, look, mate, I'll, 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 I'll get that done, okay? All right, look, mate, um, we'll have you in before, uh, look, what's the time now? Are, are you busy this evening? Uh, we, we would appreciate um, if you brought it in pretty, pretty urgently because that... Urgent, that yeah. chick is that she's sobbing her fucking tits off at home. She's devastated. When when uh, sorry when when did this happen? This this last couple weeks. Oh look, I'd have to I'd have to get the laptop this, back this up. I'd have to get the laptop back back up. But I've been given a list of people who uh, make complaints regularly, and um, I'm just going through the list now and just making some calls. Okay, okay. I just don't know when that would have happened because I I can't remember a time that I've been to Macca's and. Well, it's, look, it happened. It's, it's it up. happened. So come in, just yeah, give, us a, okay. give us a twenty, and we'll call it in. Yeah. Okay. All right, um, mate. We'll uh, we'll see you shortly, and thank you for shopping at McDonald's. Yeah. Sorry. Are you? So are you there? Or yeah. Yep. I'm just out okay, of the back. So, so- so what do I do? Do I just just come out of the back? Just come out of the back and say, "Hey, hey, it's Jaden." Where's just, the back? Sorry, do you want to come? No, no, no. Like so a... no, just come to the front counter That's and say, "Can you please give this to Tom Collins?" And they, they all the staff know who I am. Okay. All right. Thank you very much, Jaden. Thanks for uh, your time. And um, please do not disrespect our staff ever again. And do not, yes. under any circumstances, ask for refunds because we will call you back and force you to come and pay otherwise you will not eat at mcdonald's ever again okay power
you need to stop getting a bit aggressive now, mate. It's <laughs> <laughs> so hard to control them. So much power. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> wow, that was so much power. Holy oh. shit! I was even scared to come in now. <clears throat> no, don't worry. I'll be at the back. I'll calm down by then. I'll have a toss before you come. <laughs> um, okay, look. Um, just on, on one note, if if I do come to McDonald's and something happens and the order is wrong, mm-hmm. okay. In all honesty, it is wrong, one hundred percent. I'm going to keep my receipts from now on, just in case this does happen again. Please do, and f- okay? and film uh, as soon as you're handed the bag. Film every single ingredient that's in the bag. That is the only way you'll be able to get yep. a refund. Okay, okay, no worries. I'll, I'll do that from now on, honestly. Okay, <laughs> and I'll I'll not be so aggressive. Angry. It's just that it happens so many times. That's why the aggression comes out. That's like allegedly. That's an honesty. Allegedly. Uh, All right. Allegedly, yes. Okay. All right, Jaden. Well, I'm going to call the next uh, person fuck and um, the next fuckwit and get some money off them too. But, mate, we'll see you soon, all right? You stay strong and don't ever look a stranger in the eyes because they could be powerful. Okay. I'll, I'll take that advice. Goodbye, Jaden! <laughs> <laughs> did he know or not? I know. Oh, he did by the end, I think. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, he was fully apologetic. He was at the start, yeah. And then as it got more ridiculous, I think what he realized. How <laughs> 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 That was a good prank call. He's a nice guy. Yeah, I yeah, know. I'd love to have a beer or 10 or 20 with him. Thanks, Jaden, for being such a good sport. All right, guys, that is the end of podcast episode number eight. Eight? eight? That's not that a question. That's done just how 48. I say it. Eight? 48. 48 yeah. podcasts. 48? Eight? eight? Oh, tomorrow we're at 50. Where the, the best. Where the best. Where the best. 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 best.